Stuffing is a major player in the world of Thanksgiving. Let's face it, chicken and turkey can pop up at any time of the year, but when we want to dress those birds up, there's just no substitute for some good old carby filling. Even better, stuffing comes in all shapes and sizes. There are no hard and fast rules about what constitutes it. It can be bread, any kind of bread, rice, quinoa, and even matzah. There's only one hard and fast stuffing rule, mix some ingredients, stuff it inside a cavity of another food item, and voila! Make no bones about it, it's delicious. That's why, on November 21st, we celebrate National Stuffing Day. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, today is the day to perfect your stuffing recipe. Making a traditional apple and onion stuffing? Use today to hone your ratios of caramelized onions to tart apples to thyme. Or, if you're hosting a holiday for the first time, test that fabulous stuffing recipe before it's too late. Do you want a simple formula for making stuffing? Here it is, start with a grain, add liquid and or fat, spices and herbs and something with flavor and texture. For example, start with cooked rice, add chicken stock, season with thyme, garlic, marjoram, salt and pepper and add dried cherries and cranberries with a sprinkling of chopped walnuts. Stuff the whole mixture into pork chops and you have stuffed pork chops. Are you more of a traditionalist? Start with cube stale bread, add turkey stock and melted butter. Throw in some rosemary and parsley, and cube some apples for texture. Mix together and stuff the entire mixture into your favorite member of the fowl family. Roast and relax until dinner is ready. With the holidays on the way, you're going to need some serious refrigerator space. Stuffing is a great way to use up some of the leftovers taking up valuable refrigerator real estate. Take those croutons left over from last week's salad, a little butter, those sad looking celery stalks and half an onion and mix it together using a little hot water and stuff them into those red peppers that are going to go bad if you don't use them soon. Pop the whole the whole thing into a casserole dish with a little olive oil on top and bake in a hot oven and no one will ever guess that last night's leftovers have become tonight's dinner. You're a culinary superstar. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.